define Q, list and explain various operations performed on Q. Or describe array representation of Q and list and explain various operations performed on Q. Q is an abstract data structure where insertion of an element occurs at one end known as rare and deletion of an element occurs at another end known as friend. Q is known as first in first out FIFO because first item added to Q will be first item to be removed from Q. Memory representation of Q. Two ways to represent Q in memory. First, array representation is used if Q's maximum size can be determined in advance. Second, linked list representation is used if Q's maximum size cannot be determined in advance. Array representation of Q. Q representation using an array must contain homogeneous data. Maximum size max of Q must be defined before implementing it and is confined to the space allocated to the array implementing Q. Variable friend points to beginning of Q that is index of Q's first element where deletion or DQ occurs. Variable rare points end of Q that is index of Q's last element where insertion or NQ occurs. For Q, Front and rare is initialized as minus one and max with maximum Q size. To insert a new element into Q, value of rare will be increased by one before placing new element at rare. When first element is inserted into Q, value of friend is set as zero. To delete an element from Q, friend is increased by one. Operations on Q data structure. First is empty. Check Q is empty or not returns true if Q is empty, else false. Is full. Check Q is full or not, returns true if Q is full, else false. NQ. Insertion of new element into rare of Q is known as NQ. DQ. Deletion of an element from friend of Q is known as DQ. Get front returns friend element of Q. Operations on array representation of Q. Let's consider a Q representation using an array of size 5. So we have an array to represent Q of size five. So index is numbered from zero to four. Initially, friend and rare value is initialized with minus one and max is the maximum size, which is five. First, we have to perform an NQ operation. We have to NQ a number 10. While we are NQ, then friend will get initialized as zero. So friend will point to the first place 
and rare will get increased by one. So rare also will get initialized with the value zero. So rare also gets the value zero. So at the place of rare, value 10 will get stored. So in this case, both front and rare comes to zero index and 10 will get stored at rare place, which is at zeroth index. We further perform NQ of numbers 20, 30, and 40. So each time and a number has to be NQ, the value of rare will get increased by one. So while we have to NQ the number 20, the rare will come to the index one and 20 will get stored. And rare will get increased by one and it reaches to two and 30 will get stored. And rare will get increased to 30 and 40 will get stored. Next, we have to perform a DQ operation. We have to DQ a number. So while we are DQ operations, the value of friend will get increased by one. So friend goes to first index. We have to perform get friend. Get friend will retrieve the value which is currently at friend. So currently the value which is there at friend is 20. So it returns the friend element, which is 20. Now we have to further perform NQ of numbers 50 and 60. Currently our rare is pointing to the index three. So while we are performing NQ of 50, the rare will comes to the fourth index and 50 will get stored. Now we have to perform the NQ of number 60, which is not possible because rare has already reached to max minus one, which is four. So it gives Q overflow. Q overflow occurs while NQ the element 60 because rare reaches max minus one, which is four here. 